I remember last summer's carnival. My mother licked some cotton candy off one of my father's fingers when they thought no one was looking. But I was. Her face was oily and her hair had thickened up from the heat. The only thing she cared about was my father's hand and that cotton candy stuck to it. She licked it off and then he pulled her close to him, popped her chin with his fingers and kissed her. When the sunshine will shine together Know that we'll still have each other Know I'll always be a friend I can know that I'll stick it out to the end I hadn't seen my father for a whole month. He was out there making another run, delivering sodas to some manufacturer in Minnesota. He said he'd bring me back a keychain. My mother had begun getting antsy and irritated with each day gone. Fuck! Just gotta go. Okay. Can't be late again. Sean and I had been hanging out since the spring when my friend Tangie ditched me after school to hang out with the older, cuter boys. Rashawn liked to throw rocks at the passing trucks. He threw them with the strength of someone who really hated trucks. Straight and hard, never missing the target. My dad's a trucker. Mine too. His name is Bronson. Mine's Marcel. Wanna go to the corner store? I have ten dollars on me. My treat? Sure. I hope I can get in the tilt-a-whirl with one of the football players. Hopefully Bobby. But you throw up every time you get in the tilt-a-whirl. He don't know that. Gross. What y'all gonna do in there? Touch. Hold hands. Janie said Bobby got some big old hands. This is the look I'm going for. Classy, but sexy. The carnival was a time to see folks sweat and not care about it. Women got their hair pressed just for it to puff out, and men stood close in fresh wife beaters and checkered short sets. The older teens would go behind the parking lot and do stuff. The girls would run from the boys for the sole purpose of getting caught. Butts were tapped and lips were glossed over again after it all went down. The parents wondered where their kids went but they were busy falling in love themselves and soon forgot what was going on. They wanted another beer and another churro with extra sugar on it. Well, you should be bringing back more than just a keychain for how long you've been gone. Yeah. So when are you coming back? Marcel, I didn't ask you that. When are you going to be home? It's not that hard of an answer. Through the phone, I can hear an answer. 
just as charged as the question. And while I should have been sad at how heated the conversation had gotten, I was actually happy. My father would be home in time for the carnival. I gotta listen to glide music when I drive, you know? Music that makes my truck have wings so I, I can get to all these damn places one by one without falling asleep at the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Dad hasn't been back in four months. You know, he's probably on his way back. I mean, you know how long it takes to, to get them through the traffic and the highways. You know, my dad said he was in a traffic jam for a whole day once. I hope he never comes back. Wanna do some more at the carnival? You know, Daddy doesn't like pork and beans, Mom. <laughs> Just wait here one second. Be happy for once? Oh, fucking forgive me. Where the pork and beans dream? Go get them. I don't care what that man likes. He ain't been here long enough to like shit. Let's go. You know it's a sin to be ashy in the desert because it's, it's dry, dry enough, enough as it is. is. <laughs> Girl, don't mock me. <laughs> Come here. Mm. You gotta do something with this hair. You hungry? Mm, what you got? Um, I got those enchiladas yeah, with the green sauce. Thinking about them enchiladas <laughs> with the green sauce for the past 20 days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to fix you a plate. Okay. Okay. 
When we sat down for dinner, my father pulled out a keychain from Minnesota. It was a big keychain with text that said, Land of 10,000 Lakes. So, how was Minnesota, Marcel? I, can't, I really can't say, baby. Why not? Weren't you there for over 10 days making deliveries? Baby, you know, some places I visit just leave me with the same impression I came there with in the first place. Oh. Sometimes those trucks get such a strong hold on you, you don't get a chance to see the city. You know? No. Mm -mm. No, I don't, Marcel. You sound crazy. I sound crazy? Why, why would you say something like that? I'm sitting here trying to talk to you real and tell you how it is. And... Marcel, you have been gone way too long to come in here talking about foolishness. You want me to lie to you? Is that what you want me to do? Lie to you? Okay, I'll lie. I um, I love the lakes. I love the fried food. I love the fucking music. Is that Don't curse at my table. Who's it? Oh, it's your table. Yes, oh, yes, my table. You not here. Sarah, listen. You knew I was a truck driver when you and I first met. So what is this all about? You seeing someone else? What? Tara, what are you talking about? Look, she knows what's going on. She knows what you tell her. She knows what's going on. Plus, I hear about it all the time. This is what you truckers do, right? What we do. Yeah, okay. You come in here talking about, oh, I don't remember. Right. <laughs> I knew that once they got to the carnival, things would be okay again. They would be sticky and sweaty enough to forget about the night before. My mother looked stunning. Her hair was curled so tight that the heat would be afraid to mess it up. Um, in the middle, I guess, or... <laughs> My father popped up from the couch and wanted to get next to her. She knew she had this power over him for the night, and she liked it. I liked it too. The carnival could do that to you. Whoa, whoa, baby, listen. We don't do cotton candy anymore, okay? No. Right, right. You just do other women. It's nothing but sugar, Tara. Look, Get it's a, a carnival, of... Marcel. Give it a break. I don't want no cotton candy, Tara. That's it. Come on. I just want to make sure you have a good time, all right? I, I, I want to make sure that you have a nice time with my mother, right? You're going to have a nice we time. We always have a good time. We all have a nice time. I think we're having a wonderful time. Oh, there's my man. Rishon grabbed my hand and pulled me toward the booth where other teens slipped by their parents unsuspected. It's going good, man. Had to get back for the carnival, though. Yeah, it's nice. So, uh, you guys try the cotton candy? Nah, man. Catch you later. Hey! 
Just you and me, babe. Lights and colors blurred. We were one of many, untamed by the heat. He came back. I hugged him, happy for the return, but sad that return seemed not to mean anything. Sad that my mother followed that man in the grocery store and that my father would be gone again soon. I hugged for Sean's father, lost at home, and his mother's hands. We hugged because all we had was the carnival, a time where roads weren't far and fathers weren't away. Why do we build this castle in the sky? All these marble.